Welcome to Pro Master YouTube channel. We continue the piping tutorial videos for free. In some isometric drawings, it is required to calculate the length of pipe. In this video, we will learn how to calculate pipe and pipe fittings length on the pipeline. If you watch the video until the end, I'm sure you will learn a lot of useful information about pipeline calculations. Let's start piping tutorial video. In this video, we will use 4-inch piping isometric drawing and 3D model view of the pipeline. It is required to calculate the length of pipe number 1 between the two elbows in this pipeline that you see in the video. For this, we must first find the distance from the center of the elbow to the center of the elbow. We will use a 3D model view of the pipeline to better understand these calculations. We need to calculate the length of this piece of pipe. As you can see the horizontal part of the pipeline goes up here using a 45 degree elbow and at this point it goes back to horizontal again using a 45 degree elbow. First, let's calculate the distance from the center of one elbow to the center of the other elbow. Let's complete these crossed lines into a triangle. For this, we move this red line, which shows the distance between the elbows, parallel to the bottom, and connect the dashed lines to form a triangle. And, a right-angled triangle with perpendicular sides of 500 mm was formed. The hypotenuse of this triangle will be equal to the distance between the elbows. Let's calculate the length of the hypotenuse of this triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the perpendicular sides. If we write your hypotenuse as h, then h squared is equal to 500 squared plus 500 squared. We continue the calculation. The square of h is equal to 250,000 plus 250,000. We continue the calculation again. The square of h is equal to 500,000. Here, after freeing h from the square, we found that length of h is equal to 707 millimeters. There is another way to find the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle with equal perpendicular sides. Different formulas are used for this. To find the length of the hypotenuse, you need to multiply the length of the perpendicular side by 1.4142. That is, h is equal to 500 multiplied by 1.4142. We continue the calculation and find that 500 times 1.4142 is equal to 707 millimeters. The length of your hypotenuse is 707 millimeters. The distance from the center of the elbow to the center of the elbow was 707 millimeters. There are two 45 degree elbows here, and if we subtract their lengths from the total distance, we can find the length of the pipe piece. Let's we look at the standard size chart of elbows. This table shows the dimensions of the most commonly used 45 degree and 90 degree elbows in pipe fabrication. In this table, you can easily find the dimensions of 45 degree and 90 degree long radius and short radius elbows. Elbow size refers to the distance from the center of the elbow to the end of one side. From the pipe elbow dimensions chart, we find that the length of a 4 inch, center to end, 45 degree elbow, long radius is 64 millimeters. Center to end shows B, it is dimension of the 45 degree elbow. In this isometric, there are welds in two places, if we count each weld gap as 3 millimeters and the elbows as 64 millimeters, then the length of the pipe will be equal to the total length of 707 millimeters minus 64 millimeters minus again 64 millimeters minus 3 millimeters minus 3 millimeters. Thus, 
we calculated and found that the length of the pipe is 573 millimeters. You can also use this rule to calculate the length of pipe sections in pipelines. In our other videos, you can learn other methods of calculating the lengths of pipe pieces used in pipelines. You can watch those videos by entering the links in the description below this video. It is very important to calculate the length of pipes that will be used in pipelines in pipe production. Most of the time, job exams require the calculation of pipe materials according to the isometry in pipe drawings. By watching the videos we share on our ProMaster YouTube channel, you can also learn how to calculate the lengths of pipe pieces and pipe fittings in pipe drawings. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our ProMaster channel and turn on notifications to be notified of our new isometric videos in time. A good knowledge of piping drawings helps pipe fitters succeed job interviews. You can easily find the useful piping skills you need on our channel. We help improve the skills of pipe fitters with the videos we share. You can help our channel by watching these videos and sending them to your friends. Let's take a look at this pipeline's 3D model view. So we can easily see the pipe pieces and pipe fittings used in this pipeline. Thank you for watching, see you on next video, take care.